Apologize for not getting them out sooner. It's okay. We got them out. Um, take a look at them. Motion to approve when ready. I'll make a motion to approve. I second. Okay. Any other comments, corrections? Very good. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Well, I, I wasn't here for the meeting, so. I... Oh, you were saying? Okay. Yeah. Pass with one absentia. One at one uh, go. All right. Now, we had a, uh, did present at the 6, 1026, oh, I'm sorry, at the 1026, on the 621, I think 621, whatever, the uh, present to the select board our findings and recommendations for a site of uh the dpw project and which was obviously the one on south middle street we're going to stay there and i just did uh show them you know some pictures what it includes what it might include different history of some brief history and the select board is recommending they vote they voted that we should put on the fall town meeting scheduled for 10 26 for the uh design money to design the facility and that's going to be approximately three million dollars and therefore over the next between now and the fall town meeting we are going to be rather busy um basically getting publicity out and different ideas and stuff to the townspeople so that they know what's going on and hopefully we can get a good turnout and pass the money to do the design. Now, the, what the design will include is basically two things. It'll be a sum of money to do the design and a sum of money to also hire an OPM. Part of the design will be, we'll have to select, advertise and select an architect to do that. Could be the present Western we're using, it could be somebody different, but the law says we shall, out, we shall advertise, we shall interview, and we shall choose an architect. Um, that's probably no different than anybody who's been on a, on a committee before for any of the other buildings. That's the way it goes. So um, that's the money that will be on a fall town meeting. Next one that we should we need to discuss is ideas on how to get out to the townspeople and select basically, if you would, a subcommittee or a subgroup, whatever you want to call them, to go out and move forward and uh, organize the different topics. I know that uh, I sent out on the email, um, Weston had put together some little nice little brochures like this. Um, I forget which one they had. Two to... examples. Okay. Um, but, you know, basically, they can, you know, pass messages. Oh, you're going to? Oh, you're going to? Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. And these are just two, but this is for Holden and Grafton, actually two of the places we visited on um, designing and, you know, information and to get out for the uh, facility. So um, I think part of uh, Weston has agreed that they will help us organize something like this for our town. And some of the other things that the, that the different towns have done was like a, uh, I don't call it a meet and greet, that's not the right word. Open, but, house. Hmm? open house. Open, open house, house. That's where they job. had like, you know, hot dogs, something to nibble on, popcorn, something for the kids, a tour of the facility, what it looks like, um, pictures of what it could be, what we're looking at, ballpark ideas, and the plans, 
and stuff like that. So um, ideas and comments from anybody. What do you think? Recommendations, suggestions, anything. These things I think are awesome. This one in particular, the Holden ones. Yeah. Um, I know that this you know, this was presented at select board meeting and it, it went over well there as well. So we could get together something like this and then figure out best way to get it to people. If we do it in time, we can probably get it put out in either the next water bill or tax bill, depending when they're due. It's too late. For, both, for either one before town meeting? Yeah, because we town meeting is 13 weeks from today. Tax, uh, I, I, I talked to Sue, it wasn't going to, I think it's it's going to be like a, maybe a week before, if that. Okay. Not enough time. Not enough time for the next mailing day. Get the homes before the town meeting. With enough time to think about it. I, I mean, I agree with, with Randy. Uh, we did a couple of these during various field projects that we've done, and sometimes especially in this day and age of quick hit, the pictures will speak a lot more than a lot of verbiage. Yeah, I was I mean, going to say. It's certainly good to have a little blurb, maybe, you know, on some of the history, but we don't need to go back on a full history lesson to 1985 and how many times we've been doing it. I think, the, you know, the picture here, uh, people are going to yeah. look at that and you're going to communicate a lot more effectively um, with a fairly lengthy dialogue. You know, the, you know the, yeah, I, I think that you're right. I, I agree with the holding one where the pictures, a few, a few words, um, go a lot farther. It's hard to hold people's attention spans nowadays, anyway. And uh, but you know, we also have to consider that we've got, you know, different markets that we want to attract. Certainly, you know, council on aging or getting involved in in, in that method. How do they reach out to their constituency uh, versus the the schools? And then all the people that don't travel in those circles, and and of course, yeah, this okay. media, ask media he, as well. He, he, yeah, he, and Hadley Media can get a lot of this stuff out, but a lot of people don't watch the Hadley Media. Yes, no, yes. If I could um, just interject there, we get pretty much almost all the age groups, whether it be on our social media, our YouTube, and our channels. We are putting out more on the web. Um, as we are online, I mean, okay. sorry, on the channels. So we are reaching out to all of the age groups, including um, including the, the students at Top Youth, too. Okay. How many views are you getting, though, Alex? How yeah. many views? It depends. Um, it depends on whether or not I put the video on both Facebook and YouTube or just YouTube. Are we talking hundreds, thousands, tens? Maybe tens. I'd have to look at some of the, the Facebook numbers. Because um, if it's like five minutes or under, I'd throw it on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Well, I think that certainly this is one channel. Um, and, uh, you know, it might actually, I mean, what do you think about the value of having a small website dedicated to this project? Like a lot of people will have them for a project or an election or a campaign. Who would keep it up? Well, I think once you build it and you put these Who, pictures there. Who's going to build it? Who's going to keep it up? We can look around. I'm sure there may be, uh, you know, I have old skills in that area, but there might be somebody. <laughs> you know, I mean, that, that's, I mean, it's, it's a great idea. Don't get me wrong, but we're going it, to, it's. The, the big thing is content. Once you get the content, then it's a, we're talking about a page just so people could go there. And if you want to put a lot of, of description of what's there and then you know you can uh have the media can point at it uh facebook can point at it um you know it, it gives people a little bit more but it's just uh, in addition to those who are not going to have their hands on a flyer well could it be a simple we can put, we can put that on front page okay. uh, linked to that front or page else. of the town you're talking town. yeah you get it gets a little uh to, to try to do a separate web page that's not a part of the town because then everything that we put up is yeah. open open meeting law we have to make sure it's accessible right. ada exists it's, it's so, so to, then, to then, the town then then a multi-page pdf that's hanging off of, off yeah. of the town you got this thing and you can go into greater depth down below yeah uh, so i'm sorry so web by website i mean web presence and and by that if Whatever. we're hanging yeah. off the town then okay. I, I was thinking the old field things where we had to do our own because it was quasi. Well, I mean, it could be something like a Facebook page that we could do. Could it? You know, we're under what? 
So yeah, I mean, if we can if we can live underneath the the town's website, well, can it live underneath the town website, or can we can the town website direct someplace? It will be a link on the website. Okay, so it will say on there, but you can click on it. It's going to have, it'll have okay. the brochure and anything else you want. It would want be to part of the. It would be part of the town's web page. Right, she's saying the announcements. Yeah. Okay. Right on the front page. I think that makes the most sense. The DPW okay. committee and you know. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That, that's fine. So okay. you know what I would do too. I think what's really important. Oh, I'm butting in, but is to definitely you guys need to have a picture with your names on it because I think people need to know who's on it, and I think that this entity will definitely build up trust in the community because you guys are well known you've been in successful projects before i would definitely you guys got to get your visuals um who's on the committee to, to build up that's that probably, trust. probably a good idea okay so who could be do we agree that that's a good idea i do i do right who wants to take charge of it you want to take charge of it i get the charge of it good oh and you both put it in there yeah I, I was I was meaning to reach out to you, but I was waiting for the meeting. Yep. Uh, I, I I'm hoping you could come down to our facility. Uh, probably at the end of the day would be most convenient for you, because I'd like you to take some video or photos or whatever you do when we're closed up at the end of the day and everything's really packed in there. Because like if you do an open house or something, or whatever, it. I don't think people could walk in there. I don't think it'd be safe. I mean, the mirrors are touching on the trucks and equipment. There's just really no space. I'd like, you know, if you could come down there, whether we set up you up a ladder or something to take some good video of really how mm -hmm. packed everything is in there at the end of the day, I think it's going to go a long ways too. Yeah, get them up on that little little mezzanine. Yeah, yeah the mezzanine take some or what have some you. Yeah. Pictures there. It's like because. At the end of the day, when we're closing up, everything's back in there. And I think you're here, so mm -hmm. you could do that. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll text you after the meeting. Yeah. Uh, we could set up some dates and stuff like that. Um, and then to definitely come up with a shot list of what you want, because I don't know what the I know what the DBW facility looks like, but I don't know everything about the DBW facility and what the actual issues are. Yeah. Um, so uh, it'd be nice. If you can get give me a shot list and we can take care of that. All right, yeah, sounds good. Because if you're gonna make like a little TV advertisement or thing on your okay. channel, we had some good pictures to go along with it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think this pres presents a lot of eye-catching ideas for well, photos. Yeah. You know, they've got you know things that are jammed together, or various pieces of equipment. Yeah. The dilapidated buildings. Um, and you know, crammed in. Okay. And I think we all agree we should put together the brochure. Right. Yeah. How do we go about doing that? Can you do that, Alex? Yes, I can. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, I know Mike and I are talking. Yeah, we were right. They, 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 I know. Yeah, I know Mike can can put it together, but we need to get him the information. What kind of information do we want to put in there? What do we want? What, is, what do we want it to look like? Is what I'm saying. You know, lots of pictures. Well, that, that's, what, that's what that's 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 too can we, can too we too change, too wide open. Can we change this to Hadley. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Steal it. I mean, this is that's to, is to me perfect. that's what's caught, caught your attention. I would right. just switch out the pictures. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I agree that this is. This is yeah, where the issues are certainly very similar. So, I, yeah. I mean, we, see, we, I we want to ask you right We don't it. want somebody else. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I think we I have like the time. I think we have enough pictures, probably, um, um, from of the existing facility. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. We okay. A bunch. So, um, PJ, can you put something together relatively? Yes. Okay. I, I do like okay. the timeline <laughs> photo. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, the timeline is. The timeline photo is. Is, is, I can't get you to do it away. Yeah, that one's good. Um, just superimposed Scott in a couple of pictures there. <laughs> but, um, but seriously, the, as far as the verbiage, I mean, there's there's not a lot in here that needs text write up. Yeah. If you were to add something to a page that will sit under, you know, underneath this this flyer on the on the town's web page, if you wanted to put a little history blur together, uh, you know, that would. You know, or maybe a list of FAQs or something yeah. about the project. Yeah. That might be a better way to present it to the public. Yeah. Right. 
Uh, and as an aside, we are doing a little rendering, not dissimilar to what's in this middle page here of our current proposal. So we'll, okay. we'll have a visual, I think will be helpful. Okay. Um, I was gonna say back to you taking some photos or videos. I think we showed some of those examples of more sort of conversational tour where you actually take the videographer on a tour around the building. I don't know if that's something you want to do or just. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess if Alex it, wants to do it. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's yeah. a good time to do it because right now I'm borrowing in a wireless lab from Northampton. So yeah. um, nice. we could do it in the next few weeks. That'd be <laughs> super. Yeah, uh, I guess CNs believe in. So, so you're, yeah, you're using somebody's what? Yeah, La wireless lab microphone. It's, oh. it's something you can put on your oh, shirt. Oh, okay. You walk around with a camera and uh, the microphone and do that. Mm -hmm. Like I could mic my Scott up. He can. I can follow him. He follow me. And he can go explain. Okay, this is what's going on That's here. Kind of what we've done before, yeah. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. Okay. I can't yeah. edit it up. I mean, you you know. Yeah, you're so familiar with it. You don't want to probably take no. an hour or yeah. maybe tops to walk around and point it at. It's the site isn't that big. Yeah, you know, we could break it up definitely. Put in a real form. Yeah. I'm not expecting one to know what reels are, but. Um, yeah, we basically talk about different aspects of the facility. These are our refinished trailers that were originally purchased. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get I'll get uh, Gary to uh, help me with that because he know, has a lot of institutional no knowledge of the dates, like with the trailers and this and that and the other thing too. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm sure he he will want to do that. Um, one other thing we've done, which is helpful, is a series of just facts that really is more for the committee so that everybody's kind of using the same numbers and and that, that, that was probably story good. Make, so we're, we're not ad-libbing out of text right. yeah, yeah that makes a whole lot of sense right. you know so that when we present something the facility is you know you say it's 30 years old i say it's 50 years right. old you say it's 40 years old well how old is it and it's consistent across the pamphlet and the videos. And right. The that, videos. That's 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 a good idea. Yeah. So when you say fact sheet, you're talking about a fact sheet as opposed to the FAQ. Yeah, I guess you call it. You said it. Yeah, it's a fact, a fact sheet. sheet. Probably a better way to call it. Yeah, correct. Okay, so just to review where we are so far, Alex will take charge of getting stuff to the town webpage and getting it onto the webpage with Carolyn. Jennifer. Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer. And you'll work with Scott and Gary, get some stuff of the existing facility and get that to TJ mm -hmm. so that they can put together JP. Uh, a Hadley Holden. <laughs> so <Yeah>. sure. <laughs> okay. And as far as the fact sheet, what do you, what, do you have the facts or what? what... I, yeah, I mean, I think some of them, this is a sample. I haven't had a chance to review it in detail myself yet. Um, so probably the thing to do is I'm going to take this sample and edit it for what I think makes sense. I'll put in as much information and I'll send it around. Why, why don't you send that to me? Because yeah. I probably have a lot of the facts yeah. of the existing facility, when it was built, cost, and otherwise, and the age, only because my father was on the building committee when they built the existing one. So yeah. I have a lot, a little bit of that. That's not, I mean, it's not that you don't need a lot of those details, but at least some of the facts. Yeah. And anything that I don't know, I'll get from the other committee members okay. and get back to you. Okay. Um, only reason I say that is because if you send it to the, to the committee and they reply, it could be an open meeting violation. Yes. If you just give it to me, one person, I can get stuff and send back to you and there's no problem with that. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think if we're talking about factual information, just collecting yeah, you, an FAQ. I don't want to take that chance. If you if 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 you want to just get everybody the same information and just say don't reply to all, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Because you the, a board can't function without the information to make a decision on at a future meeting. So yeah. that that has to happen to get some of the facts out of it. Okay. 
Um, timing. Let's take one step back first, Jimmy. Sure. Get, we're going to create this brochure, and then we're going to figure out how to get it to people. Yeah. When did you say that there's no mailing going to be before town meeting? I mean, I can double check with um, Susan, but the last time I checked, because they just did, you know, because taxes were due, they just did a mailing, and it's court, it's quarterly. Yeah. So I'm not sure it's going to be out in time for the. So but let me be honest with you. I asked Susan about it, and she said it's a great way to get it out, but she thinks there's enough people who just take their bill out and throw everything away. So I, I'm not sure that that's like it has to be considered the best way to get it out. I think Haley's going to be a good source, especially for your older voters, because she puts a newsletter out and she can maybe put a link or even add it to that. We can talk with her about that or absolutely have them in every place, the library, the brochures in the library, the COA, you know, all the public buildings. Yeah, well, let's face it, the print media is going to be targeted for a certain audience. Mm -hmm. Or are you going to be digital for yep. uh, the those. majority of it as well? I, I, I'd be curious to see what a mailing would cost. Yeah, have, have to provisions to print, print it as well? Print yeah. it and do a mailing. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I could ask the Recreation Commission to post this on their website, which we'll get to. I'm sure, all of, the, all of the departments that have their own Facebook page would, would put it on there as well. Okay. Um, you mentioned uh, open house or touch a truck day. Yes. So there's two things that we've done. One is that where it's a DPW open house. And I don't know if there's a town wide event day i know i think it was holden that they had a like um brush collection day or something i think they held it on that day where they knew most of the residents would be coming by anyway um, so i don't know if there's a day that makes sense for that it might not be till early fall or you want to get it in before i i don't think we want an open house too much before town meeting if you have an open house let's say tomorrow right but a lot of people are gone for august too right <laughs> well, I'm just saying now, we had an open house two months in advance of town meeting. By the town time meeting comes along, most people yeah. forgot it. You know, they'll, they'll, that's my two cents. I think the closer we, I mean, within a reason, the closer we have it to the town meeting date, like especially a couple of weeks before, will be the most impact. It's still fresh in their minds. Oh, yeah, go to town meeting and, and vote accordingly. I agree with that. Yeah. So now you're talking about a flyer for touch a truck. Flyer, I mean, we can put some get 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 the uh, well, probably get Scott to put something in Scott Moore back to put something into the Gazette, probably at no charge about it, mentioning it. You could put a sandwich board over at the oh, we could put at yeah. the transfer station and yeah. one out here. You know, get a, a couple sandwich boards up. Yes, that right. that's that's absolutely true. Yeah, the police have those trailers too. I'm sure that we could put a message board out, take a couple of good locations where there's a lot of traffic that we're, you know, yeah. doing out. Well, yeah, you said the transfer stations almost all had the yeah. accidents. Yeah. That, that'd be a good spot to put it, but you only have to put it there for Saturday. Right. When you can do it. Um, and then we've also done more sort of just like a public presentation, public meeting where we have a bunch of boards up and it could be a formal presentation, but it really could just be sort of a question and answer. Let people just come and see the proposals and um, could be in town hall or here or something. But mm -hmm. That's another something we've done. And that, and that can be as organized or not as you want it, I think. Okay, so that's, that's three separate events, basically. The flyer, preparation of all that, touch a truck and advertising for that, as well as a forum that's a lot to do between now and it is and it may be I, too much but i think I, I mean the brochure just up on a website and i think an open house at the dpw close to the town meeting date within reason is probably as much as we're going to be able to handle 
reform could be when we get to voting on the major on the and, and that may make more sense because there you're presenting an actual project where you're asking for construction money right yeah. later. Um, later. Um, my experience with the forum in Hadley is you get a limited amount of exposure and when the town meeting shows up that's the forum right mm -hmm. you know I mean I look at any of our major projects and anything that's been repeated at a forum typically gets brought up again on town meeting for floor and you know setting um open house we need to start planning that to be honest I mean it's it's, it's right around the corner that's only this is August so October is only three months away um we want to try to set up a proxy. Town meeting is 26, 26. So, three months from the which is a Thursday. I would think we want to probably set the form up maybe for like the 14th or 15th. With the what's well, a set? Well, the fourth, I don't think we want a sun, Saturday, Sunday. When we what's a good day? Okay. I would think a Saturday, probably better than a Sunday. That's a truck. That's a truck. Yeah. Um, probably Saturday. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Ten fourteen is just about two weeks before. That's probably good. That way, people can go look, and then if they have questions, and the other thing, it, it, it's in, it's also not too hot. You do something in in early September. You you I mean where they are, you may be hit with yeah the 80, mosquitoes 80, are horrible. 80. Yeah, we yeah. want them to see that in that building. What's that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, the mosquitoes are going to be there no matter, but at least right. it, it might be a little bit cooler, so they may not be eating you alive as much. So or 10, us alive. 10 14. Yeah. What are the record? What do you think? What, what's in, what are what are hours for something like that that, that you've seen, TJ? Like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to speak up for yourself, Maybe sir. So. <laughs> 10 to 2. JP. Oh, I'm sorry, JP. I'm sorry, JP. <laughs> um, yeah, like 10 to 2. <laughs> 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 That's right. so, 10 to 2. So usually it's, it's like 10 to 2. Yeah, something in that range. You don't want it too long. Right. Really too late. And that'll give people, they can go to the dump and then come on over. Right. Yeah. I was going to say 9 to noon, but yeah. 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 I mean, whatever makes sense. But allow people to think that they have their afternoons completely untouched. Well, then they can go in the morning. Yeah. Yes. Um, what do you want to have for? Well, first of all, somebody wanted to be in charge of this. And when you say in charge, what do you what do you envision that entailing? We're only going to have a mini subcommittee of this committee, and we've got people that are willing to help. Some of the board of selectmen has, has offered to help. I know Joyce has said they're willing to do stuff. Other members have said, you know, it doesn't have to be just this committee. Um, going to have hot dogs. Well, how are we going to pay for it? We're going to try to get donations. We're going to try to get uh, somebody to donate stuff, uh, something to drink. Um, I would be willing to, you know, this is a significant undertaking. Um, hot dogs, you got hot dogs, rolls, condiments, probably potato chips, and then some drinks, and probably plenty, or it could be pizza, okay. something to eat, you know, yeah. um, but you're still talking something to drink and eat, it doesn't still, have to be a lot. Do we still have the hot dog cart? Just sold it. Okay. Are there food trucks that might... Well, food, I don't food, know how that range... Food, 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 food trucks, trucks are going to pay Food trucks cost money. Yeah, I mean, hot dogs, when we used to do hot dogs out of the hot dog cart at, at Rec, Park and Rec, you didn't charge for the hot dogs. You put a can out there that said donations, and you usually made a lot more than if you were trying to charge a buck or two for the hot dogs. Okay. And, um, and in this case, you're just trying to draw them in anyway. You're right. But, um, you know, put a donation can out there, you're still going to get, somebody's going to throw a 20 in there here and there, and that's all you need to cover your expenses so, for hot dogs in there. Does Chief Central have hot dog trucks? Thinking I one? I don't believe so. No, they're, they're like the rec department just sold. Yeah. Does anybody have any kind of big grill set up? Well, I mean, it's a grill. Right. I'm wondering if the car department has that. It has an awesome. No, Richie Blight has got some. 
or at least he had used to have a big thing. I don't know if he still does. Well, I used to have a big charcoal group. I got rid of that a long time ago. But I'm sure we could find enough people that are willing to donate their oils if we need to. Yeah, I think that all, all I, I agree with all of that, but we need to have somebody putting this to help putting this together, or a couple of people putting this together, like two co chairs, something like that. Mm -hmm. I think there should be some representation from DPW, not saying you, but you know, somebody there who can coordinate those schedules. Well, I think it needs to be somebody on this committee that's got the charge of it, not delegate to somebody else. I mean, they, you can delegate accordingly. But well, I'm saying the subcommittee should have. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. They can get all kinds of people, and, and they can they can never they can re re recruit whoever is willing to assist. Anybody willing to take charge? Who's not here that we're going to volunteer? <laughs> Gary. Gary. <laughs> he's on the I bet you he's got a huge group. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think we should I can't commit to that, Jimmy. It's it's going to be a really, really busy time of the year for me. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I've got, I'm willing to help. Yeah, and I, see, I'll see. help, but I can't, yeah. I cannot it, we manage. Same here. Yeah, CPA is going to be loaded up in August for, for me, in September. So, is it, and, and, and not that it would be extra work hours, but I do think the presence of some of the employees are going to be really important. I can, you and I can work together on trying to get things in place, but I think that day it would be very, very good public presence. If you could have some of the employees there. Oh, definitely. So, I, I, yes. so I don't, if, if, if it's, if you keep it simple, and it's just hot dogs and you've got the presentations, I can help with that. I can help. Yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think we have the time or the, basically the time to put together something elaborate. Right. That's why I'm saying that first thing in hot dogs, that's too much. Simple hot dogs, something to drink, potato chips, mustard, ketchup, relish kind of a deal. Um, I mean, I got a popcorn machine I could bring. It's a regular, it's the popcorn machine you see at, at fairs. That's a long story. Hmm? There's a popcorn machine behind you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's from, uh, that's oh, from the, you know, hard No, that's yeah. COAs. Oh, okay. You got one right there? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That, yeah, that's what I've got. Um, okay. that can make a lot of popcorn. Once you get it heated up, it makes a lot of popcorn pretty quick. So dogs and popcorn and drinks. Yep. And probably potato chips, I'm guessing. Well, I mean, keep it simple. Dogs and popcorn and drinks. Uh, okay, that's right. But right. that's true. If you don't get if you got popcorn, you don't need po potato chips. Right. Popcorn. Yeah, popcorn. Um we got this. That drinks and you know, ketchup, mustard, and relish and still sick. And hell and napkin stuff. Yep, so. If it helps you, I'm gonna help with the promotional stuff of the open house. Okay. You know, um uh, some schmoozing in the town hall. We got a few good people who are really good hosts. I, I didn't want to say that. I know, I just want to name them <laughs> yeah. until I ask them. But I don't think there'd be an issue with getting help that day, helping to coordinate it. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put down maybe Scott and Carolyn and try to do some research and we can talk. Mm -hmm. uh, we got time to, we have a little bit of time that we don't have to jump too much into it today. Um, I think we've got plenty. Plenty. Well, until then, so we research if there's donations, of, you know, maybe something yeah. to be in charge well, just to answer to. How many people do you think will show up? That's a good question. Right. I mean, I would think we're probably going to get, I wouldn't be surprised. I would say a minimum 50 to 100. Will we get more than that? I have no idea. I was thinking 100 popped in my head. I'm just thinking to plan for the food. And it's not going to be an outrageous expense. Well, wherever we come up with the money, I don't know, but. 
Well, if we get buried, it's not like we're that far away from a store, a supply. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. So, yeah. And we, we'll, we'll target hot dogs right now. But we may do some research and find out. So one of the one of the pizza groups is willing to donate pizza. Okay, we'll have pizza instead of hot dogs. I don't know. Yeah. You know, if, if people watch us on TV, somebody may come out and say, "Hey, I want some free advertising." I mean, this is this. I mean, it, it costs them some money, but the advertising for something like this, like any of a lot of these uh, places we've been to or, or seen, you know, um, you know, pizza supplied by. Whatever, you know, hot dogs supplied by, you know, somebody and buns supplied by or refreshments supplied by. So a lot of these places surprisingly want to, they want to get, they, 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 it's, believe it or not, it's cheap advertising. Yeah. Cost them, you know, a little bit of dollars, but if they want to put that on TV or, not TV, but on radio or something, a newspaper, well, you know what a legal ad costs in a newspaper nowadays. And that's, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it, it's, 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 it's pricey. I'm upset with that. I can, I, I can go talk to Fonzie at Primo and see if he's got any inklings to do that. Would, do that. Yeah. And then, and then, yeah, that'd be fine. But one thing about pizza is even cool pizza is tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we have we have some plans. Repeat myself. Alex will take charge of getting something on the town web web page with Jennifer. Um, Alex with Scott and probably Gary take some stuff and pictures of uh, the existing facility to get a brochure together and get it to J JP. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> He cut himself. <laughs> okay. JP will get a fact sheet, a question on fact sheet that we want to put out. Get it to me. I'll get together with anybody else that we need to get the answers to that. Get it back to him so we can get that. Um, we'll look at a distributing the brochure, possibly through whatever's going to come out to the town. Maybe a custom mailing of our own. Maybe through the senior center. We'll look at various alternatives. Um, I'll work with that with Carolyn and stuff to get on, uh, what you call it, how we might get it out. And for the open house, technically, tentatively, hot dogs, popcorn, and drinks. The hot dog could change to something else depending if somebody steps forward and, hey, I'll donate whatever it might be. Um, Carolyn and Scott will kind of work with a little bit with that and try to rec and, and, and we'll provide any assistance we can you'll provide some some question and comments so we'll feed them anything we might you know if somebody oh if somebody is willing out there to donate any of these hot dogs hand, not dog, hot dogs hot dogs drinks popcorn or chain to pizza or something else contact myself or carolyn or scott um, and let us know. Uh, you can contact me through the Hadley Planning Board at planning at hadleyma.org. That's right, org now, right? Dot gov. Dot gov. I'm sorry. Dot gov. Not now. No Hadley longer dot org. Yeah. Dot gov. And Bill will get that and give it to me. Um, and Carol and Scott are both on the town webpage. Sounds good. Sound like a plan? Yes, sir. Hopefully that works. <laughs> and, then, and then show up at town meeting on 1026 and vote yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the important one. Okay. Um, oh, next meetings. We got 13 weeks till town meeting. Yeah. Today is 26. 26. Um, 
I would suggest we, we we meet on either the first, I don't not the first meeting of on awkward to sale, but the first or third two Wednesdays, only because that coincides with the select board, makes it easier for these people, but also that makes it in case the select board wanted to talk to us about something, they can just walk across the hall as opposed to making a special effort. So um August 16th work for any everybody? Yeah, I'll be here. Depending on how we're doing, we want to have one at the end of the month. We'll see. Um, we may have to have more than one a meeting at that time, but we'll see what we have, see where we are on the 16th. And if we have to meet again before September, we can. Okay. Sound good to everybody? Yes. We'll even stay on topic. <laughs> Anything else? Nothing. Everybody good? Yeah. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.